Here is the update that's coming out for companions. Very excited about this one. Are you guys ready? Right now we have a problem and that is that the highest supporters are also the most dangerous. When we designed this, we didn't expect anyone to ever become level 39. We may have expected, we may have said that level 20 by the end of the season, someone will probably get to. And then it will be a fun challenge. But right now the problem is that I don't want to use these because they're too difficult. If you consider that 10 stacks puts the difficulty as at higher than impossible and 20 stacks is higher than fragged because fragged doesn't increase the health pa past impossible. It also doesn't increase movement speed of the mobs. The extra movement speed that they gain for these 10 stacks make it considerably more difficult than impossible. So that's a problem. A 10 stack, like for example, Old Man Master here, is already very, very, very difficult. So here's what we're gonna do, and I hope that you guys like this. Those of you who have a high level one, but also those of you who have a smaller level one and won't ever have a high level one. We already have the lives. On level 11, on level 20, on level 30, etc. you get an extra heart so that you can survive death. We are removing any companion stack after the 11th level. So 10, compa 10 companion challenge is the highest they can go. After that, they won't get any more negatives. Okay? But then for every level that's not a life level, so not level 11, not level 20, etc. They will gain a spell. An active spell. And this active spell can be played in the extension. The spells that you can get is Heal, Mana Restore, Cooldown Restore, plus two Absorption Hearts. That's the instant spells. And then the buffs that you can get is Immortality for six seconds, double physical damage for 30 seconds, double ability power for 30 seconds, and Speed 3 for 30 seconds. And if you have these spells, you will be able to actively, during the Vault Run, use these spells to buff the player or help the player. If you have two heals, so let's look at Megalith. Megalith's gonna have all the spells, or she's gonna have a lot of spells. Spells can also level up in level. And if you have two heals, that means that you can use heal twice inside the Vault. So cool, like active playing? Yes, like active playing. So basically, it will be incentivized for us to use you guys without worrying about just killing you and dying ourselves and all of this stuff. I think that dying and having an extra challenge is fun once or twice. I think so. But past that, it's not really fun. It's just annoying. Okay, no one likes losing over and over and over again. The fun thing is, of course, that Megalith in this case can choose to not use her spells. <laughs> and then it's just hard for me. Right? But... Uh, I like the cooperation thing. I like the active playing. At what level do the spells manifest this guy? So the first spell will come on level 12. The second one, 13. The fourth one, 14. How does it work with multiple spells? So Megalith, if you unlock all spells, you can cast all spells whenever. But you can only cast them once per vault per level of the spell. Okay? So if you have level 1 heal, level 2 mana restore, that's your two spells that you have. That means that you can restore my mana fully twice during a Vault Run, and you can heal me once during Vault Run. Does that make sense? And when I say heal, it fully restores my health. But like, do you have to type spell in chat? No, it will be in the Twitch extension. It will be buttons in the Twitch extension. You will have a little control panel tab in the Twitch extension. But there's more. These uh, values are not set in stone yet, but currently being discussed is the following. On level 15, you don't get a, you don't get a spell. You get... An ability called party leader here we go here we go and you will get a party leader level every three levels so level 15 18 21 24 and you do not get spells on these levels and for every stack of party leader you will be able to add another companion to run the vault with you so so let's take megalith for example megalith will have i don't know 10 party leader stacks so for megalith i can take megalith as the party leader and then I can bring in nine other companions into that vault. And you can all play your active modifiers. However, the only passive modifiers that will be working is Megaliths. And for every companion I bring, there will be two 
static, two companions talents extra. I mean, it's going to be like revolting together, dudes. It's going to be, do they bring the companion stacks? They bring two companion stacks regardless of their level. So you can bring another level 10 and they will only bring two companion stacks. So it will be coming more uh, difficult, but it will, it will, yeah, it's, it's really, really, it's really cool. So basically, to explain it so that you guys can understand, higher level companions, better. There it is. There it is. It's, it's awesome. Yeah. The higher level the companion is, the better they're going to be. But does every companion that goes with Megalith have abilities? Uh, no, the companion that goes with Megalith has their own legendary modifier or spe and or spells that they may have. Yeah. So there it is. Yeah, the level 1s will turn into zombies. That's that's another thing that the team has now agreed on. So if you're level 1, even you don't take care of your companion, you will become a zombie and face me in the vault. We will also add an option for you to zombify yourself regardless of your level. So you can zombify yourself if you feel like, ah, I'd rather punch this skull a few times in the vault. So that's coming as well. My main concern is that you will have such an advantage over other streamers because you have a lot more companions and high level ones. Uh, agreed, <clears throat> says someone. Yeah, so I made an active decision. This is, uh, this is the... Uh, I'll show you guys my advantage, because you are right. Um, let me have a look at my... Give me give me a resource. Uh, let's do carbon, maybe. We have 1,100 carbon <clears throat> at this point in time. How many uh, echo gems? 29? We're, we are rich. How many vault gems? We have 116 Iskali. Wow, we are we are so rich. Um, let's see what Barry has. Because Barry ha doesn't have as many companions as I do. Not even close. <clears throat> oh, he's got 92 Echo Gems. Oh, that's a bit more than me. How about Gems? Oh, wow. Double? Oh, his lowest, <laughs> his lowest level is double mine. That's crazy. Carbon? He doesn't have more carbon. I'm richer on carbon. That's nice. Why does he only have 90? Oh, it's because he made 22 treasure keys yesterday. Yeah. Yeah, we, we made four the entire playthrough. And we're out of uh, uh, resources. Why is this a thing? Because other streamers are running companions and catalysts. I have actively said that I'm not using... Um, any catalyst because I want to focus on the companions. He made 22, yeah. I'm just proving a point here that, yeah, of course, me and Pete and Tabo and Captain Sparkles have more companions that CPK, stress, um, uh, falls, etc. Uh, but the idea with the companions is that you can only use them once per stream, and so that will hopefully be the balance for it. We are, and this goes for everyone who is above level 11. We are re-rolling every single companion that's above level 11, so you will get new modifiers, uh, you will get the new double legendary rolls, you will get the spells rolled in, and the companion stacks fixed. That will happen with this update. 